Hey guys, I'm actually here, I'm dancing to music, to talk to you about Teddy Floppy Ear the Race. I know, I'm actually reviewing a game called Teddy Floppy Ear the Race. Um, it's 90% off on Steam at the moment, weirdly. Um, I only know about it. The only reason it's even on my radar is because some dude whose name I can't remember um, uh, watched my video where I basically go, look, there's no good kart races on the PC at all. Forget Linux, just on the PC. They're all a bit meh. And he, this dude's like, look, man, just, just play Teddy Floppy Ears. It's amazing. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's going to be shit. It's called Teddy Floppy Ears. Uh, and then I saw it was 39p, and I was like, mm, go on then, 39p. And I bought it, and it's pretty good. I, I want to give it shit, but it's actually pretty good. Um, it's got loads of features, more features than any other cart game I've come across in Linux. It's 12 point, uh, uses um, Ubuntu 12.04 or better, apparently. Uh, 2 gigahertz processor, OpenGL 2.1 or compatible. So you don't need a hard drive or, or RAM, apparently. You just, like, just need this shit. So I assume the idea is that, you, you know... They're not spent too much time on this because it's a fairly light game, with it, but it's quite basic. So let's have a look at that. Oh, let's have a look at what else the developers done. Quick Steam search uh, finds out that all their stuff is on Steam OS and Linux, which is actually pretty cool. Actually, yeah, it, yeah, I like that. It's every one of the games, no heart, no hesitation. There. It's all all good. Um, games: uh, Frederick Evil Strikes Back, uh, Millie, another one I recommend. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Frederick Resurrection of Music, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few games that ring bells for me, but nothing I particularly say. Hey, that's amazing. Till apparently, oh, and also, can I just point out as well, um, the Teddy franchise is Teddy Floppy Ears Kayaking, Teddy Floppy Ears The Race, and Teddy Floppy Ears um, The Adventure, I think is the one. Um, it's not on Steam, actually. It's not, it's not on the Steam. Okay, yeah, there's, a, there's another Teddy Floppy Ears game called uh, Mountain Adventure. Maybe that's a mobile-only game. Yeah, not on Steam. Weird. Who'd, oh, it's, hmm, okay. Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, let's have a look, shall we? So let's have a look at the actual game. Options, nothing to blow you away. Um, multiplayer, just single uh, local multiplayer. I think it's single multiplayer, that would be right. And you just choose a side and then you just play on split screen. That'll be awesome. When my uh, when I get my TV set up to this, that'll be awesome. My, my daughter and I can play this. It's pretty cool. Um, single player, single race, time attack. Collector Slalom. Slalom? Slalom? I don't know how to say that word. Uh, racing Season, Floppy Cup, and My Cars. Um, let's go a single race. Uh, difficulty Normal, okay, I can manage that. Let's try the pond level. It's pretty cool. I like the little details, like in the background there, that on the table changes as you go through and gives you a little preview. Uh, there's quite a few maps, one of which seems to be in space, on the moon. <laughs> night time? Oh, just night time, okay. Um, yes, yeah, so let's have a look at that one. I actually have a favourite car as well. Look at all these cars. I can't believe that. I like this one. Um, it looks like a Citroen. Vaguely. I don't know. Uh, you got a lot of characters to choose from as well. You can choose from Teddy. And guys, I know this looks like a kid's game. That's what's weird about it. It looks like a kid's game. And I suppose kart games are inherently games for just about anybody. Your car starts off really slow and you think, oh, it's going to be pants. And then all of a sudden, it gets up speed. Ooh, it gets up some speed. Rapid. So like the acceleration's pants, but the speed it gets up. Look at this, whoosh! And you, I don't know if you can see on the stream, on the on the video I'm recording, uh, but yeah, you get all the you get like graphical effects, like uh, like when you go really fast, it's sort of the edge of the screen goes fuzzy, which is pretty cool. It's the most featured um, kart racing game I've seen on Linux. To be fair, um, it's a native Linux client. Uh, it doesn't seem to be Unity, but I might be wrong there. They're not engine it's using. Probably their own, I would think. Um, it's dead solid. Yeah, you have to be quite careful. Yeah, look at that. You have to be quite careful on the steering because it's quite sensitive at high speeds. The faster you go, the more you turn the matter. It's all pretty accurate to some of the better car games. Um, car games, not car games. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, yeah, the power ups um, are interesting. Unlike uh, Coffin Dodgers, it feels really mobile. Like it feels fluid. Like this little dinky little car. There you go. You can flip it over. It's not quite a static feeling as uh, Tux Cart. Um, which is, you know, again, that's a free game, so I don't want to give it too much shit, but yeah, um, it's a bit more static feeling. The characters are interactive. All in all, it's a solid kart game. I mean, I really can't really give it any, I can't really say anything bad about it for the price point, even at the full price of four quid. Um, there are there are other games that aren't this good for four quid. I mean, seriously, this is, this is well put together, nice Linux client that works out of the box, no hassle whatsoever. Um, for that, I'm going to take the shortcut. Here you go. I don't know if I'm actually going to help me win or not because I'm doing really badly because I'm trying to talk and race. Um, it runs smoothly, seems to run a really nice um, 
Seems to have a really nice speed. Um, no frame problems or anything. Um, a little tiny bit of tearing while I'm recording, but not when I'm not recording. But uh, yeah, all in all, an absolutely quality, solid game. Um, and I don't believe I'm talking so fondly about Teddy Floppy Ears. It makes me wonder if they can do this awesome game with this franchise. I'd like to see maybe if they tried to make a full-on kart racer, in, you know, with not setting that franchise, would they do things different or not? But it's really, it, given the fact that this is a 39 pence game at the moment, from a company I've pretty much sort of ignored, who support Linux with every game, apparently, or at least every game I can see, um, I think I need to take this... I think I need to have a little look at this company and keep pay like closer attention to their games. It's definitely, yeah, all in all, cool stuff from them. Exits, no crashes, no problems. It's all good. Um, yeah, cool. So uh, definitely go and give that a play if you can get over the aesthetic and the fact it looks really kiddie. Because uh, that was what put me off straight away. But yeah, it's it's full featured. Um, I can't stress that enough. It's It feels really good to play. It's like wobbly and fun and a little bit, you know. Um, the acceleration's a bit... We do get off to a bit of a better start, but maybe I need to unlock something good. Um, it's a bit better for that, who knows. So, yeah, there's that. Definitely check it out. Most definitely check it out, that's cool. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more kart racing games, or let's be honest, more general tat, uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It helps. If you don't like it, uh, give me a thumbs down, because that also helps, because of the way YouTube indexes these things. It doesn't matter what thumb goes, you're watching. Huh? So, yeah. Um, and don't forget, if you uh, really like my videos and want to see more of them, hit subscribe button and you will see more. I'm doing a video soon uh, about um, flight sticks in Linux, actually. Um, yeah, flights, that should be uh, interesting to see. I'd set that bad boy up. Um, so thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Or you'll see me. I don't really see you, but I always say that. It's weird. Bye.